Hello everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of Slay the Spire. Um, something I should point out, uh, that happened shortly after I finished recording the previous video. Uh, I didn't know, but, uh, the... The feature that was in, like, uh, the beta branch has been merged to main. Um, probably long before you guys watch this. Um, there's a, a fourth act now available you can play. Um... Which... I have seen on streams, and like, I, I'm not a fan. I don't really think it's a great feature, so I'm not really going to be doing. Maybe I'll talk about it some, but anyway, uh, we're, we don't we don't have it unlocked yet anyway, so it doesn't super matter. But um, I just don't really like the the idea of it, and so we probably will not be playing it anytime soon. Um, okay, uh, what are we doing here? Hmm. Remove a car. Yeah, okay, so... Removing a card is probably good. Uh, there's really no way to fight an elite with the, the cheat codes. Um, there is a pretty good path that grabs these two fires. And then this fire and an optional elite, which is quite nice. Uh, we have the spiky dude boss. So... Remove a card or transform two cards. I don't know. Like, transforming is kind of interesting. It's like, you know, removing, but you get something back. Um, often what you get is not actually that good, so it's not that appealing. Um, it's just like a strike that you can't even play, for example, if it's something totally useless. I might consider it if I were going to take a route that has very few combats, because I need some new cards, but here I don't think I will. I'll just uh, remove something, and I think a defend is a ugh, strike. I don't know. I'm always bad at this. These guys have 20 and 18 health. Well, 18 on the guy who's attacking makes this a very easy decision. We just kill him, and then everything is easy, presumably. Should be able to dodge taking any damage here. Blah. Wild Strike? Nothing? I don't think I want nothing. Like, you can't... Actually, maybe Whirlwind is good. It solves a lot of problems you might have in an early deck, right? If you get that, like, multiple slime or multiple of uh, those wormy things, it's good. And it's also good against the boss as a way to deal a large amount of damage while playing only a single attack card when he's in, like, uh, spiky form. So I'll try it. So, do we do 10? Well, we certainly don't do 10 damage, because we can do 12. But I think doing 8 and making him vulnerable is better. Right, as long as we do at least 8 damage next turn. <laughs> yeah, maybe that was worse, actually. Uh, actually, can I kill him or something? Like... Sure doesn't look like it. We're only doing 18 more at most. Um... Next turn, we have exactly this hand, so we should really work out how to kill him with it, huh? 8 and 9 is 17. I have to get him down to 17 to kill him next turn. Okay, well, that does it, and then I can block. And Whirlwind for fun. All right. Cards? Uh, I mean, Impervious is usually fine. And I don't have any compelling reason to take the other stuff. Uh, Sword Boomerang sort of is like a synergy with Whirlwind in that, like, they both want the same kinds of relics and other cards. They both fit well in a strength deck. Um... So maybe that's a better choice. 
yeah, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll take that. It's, it's a... Maybe, maybe questionable. We'll see. Um, get rid of a... Another strike, now that we've added... In particular, like... You can think of, if you want, your deck... Your, your character not as having, like, just a single source of energy, but you have, like, defensive energy and offensive energy, in a way, right? You want to spend some amount of your energy every turn on offense, and so, like, you need enough offensive cards to use up all that energy you want to spend on offense. And the rest you spend on defense, and you can think of that as defensive energy. Um, here, Whirlwind is a, a card with a very high offensive energy cost, right? And so we don't really need a lot of strikes. We can always spend whatever we want to on, ener on attacks with Whirlwind. We don't need more strikes to do it. You know, that's that's not the only argument for like what to take, but that that's one way to think of this decision. Um, pretty sure I should just kill the little guy and take the eight. Kind of stinks, but what can you do? Uh, yeah. So I think I just block, block, block. No need to take two damage here. I don't think. Uh, all right, he's just not gonna fight back. That's why we don't take two damage against this guy. Armaments? Sure. I'm unlikely to get my whole deck upgraded, so this should be okay. A shot. Oh yeah, we knew this was a shot. <laughs> I don't pay much attention to what's on the map once I've picked a path. Um... Okay, so Heavy Blade fits in, like, with all our, our strength-based attacks, but we don't have any strength yet, so maybe not such a great plan. Um, what if we just removed another strike and got um, a shrug? Or maybe at this point it's worth removing one defend, so that like you know you don't you don't draw whirlwind every turn. You do need some attacks on the other turns. Yeah, I like that. Let's grab a shrug as just like a generally good card and dump a defend. Yeah. I. I could fight an elite here, but I'd be skipping a fire. Like, I think we'd be okay even, but I'd be skipping a fire for it, and there's really no need. Especially when we can upgrade an armaments. Alright. I think we can armaments and shrug to block everything, which is nice. Oh, and sword boomerang, what a draw. It's exactly what I was looking for. The most efficient way to spend my offensive energy. Uh, I mean, bash strike is a play, but I think defend strike strike is better. want to draw my armaments? That's the choice I have, right? If I play Shrug and then play Armaments, this does 12, which is, like, clearly less than the 15 that I currently have. So if I do draw Armaments, I'm not playing it. And, like, I don't think I'm gonna want to play Armaments next turn, so I guess, sure, I'll draw it. Why not? Yeah, I want to maximize my chance that I draw an attack. Got there. Oh, I needed more attacks. <laughs> Counting. I didn't notice yet block. Um, we have a very thin deck. We could go for a Rampage. Or a Searing Blow? I don't understand how to use this card. Honestly. Um, it just seems, like, bad. Would you really dump a bunch of upgrades into it? But apparently, like, it's playable. I don't know. Um, 
and like we, we have a thin deck with armaments which can make searing blow get better over the course of a long combat but that's sort of like rolling the dice and like why don't we just take something that's generally good like rampage or cleave you know cleave fits well in our apparently aoe deck um although it's the first attack we have that's like only good against single and en multiple enemies rampage Rampage is probably better as a way to give us, like, something that's good against single enemies, too. Like, Sword Boomerang is fine, um, but it's not great. And I'll smith up the Rampage, because I expect of all the cards in the deck, that's probably the best against this boss. Shrug's pretty good, too, but I should have a chance to get that. Mummified Hand, okay? Powers are interesting to us now. We don't have to take them, but, you know, something to think about. Uh, what if I just, like, armaments? Rampage block? I could have tried a sword boomerang. Maybe I should have. It certainly did more damage. Uh, hang on. Can I kill you? No. Uh, this is clearly the way to go, though. Deal 20 damage in total. I forget what I was saying. I was saying something before I interrupted myself. Uh, I guess we go with no. I'm almost certainly going to have to rampage this guy. Like I'd have to get outrageously lucky on the sword boomerang to avoid that. Well, yeah. So I might as well rampage him and then sword boomerang the other guy. Or in fact, bash the other guy. No, Sword Boomerang is 12 damage, right? So that means any attack is lethal, so that's better than Bash. Or it's at least as good as Bash. All right, another Rampage? Sure. Yeah, I've, I've been doing a great job of keeping my HP up to snuff, so... Nice, hit that rampage. I'm not the thrilled with the strike, but it's fine. I'm gonna go this way for the fire and perhaps the elite, we'll see. Alright, what a whirlwind, right? Just it doesn't quite kill them all, which is a bummer. This guy lives and there's not much I can do about it. I could make him vulnerable, it does heal eight. And uh, it's not like I can play any other attacks, because then my Whirlwind doesn't kill the other two. Um, is it worth spending this to heal for eight? Well... If I take eight damage... I'll be at 54, right? And you heal for like 30% of your max at a, at a campfire. Which for us is 24. So actually, like, 8 damage gets us, like, almost perfect for getting healed from a campfire. And I'm not, like, super bummed about having to smith, ha having to rest. There's nothing, like, desperately needs smithing. You know, this would be good, but... Wow, that is a lot, actually. But, uh... I think I'm just gonna take the damage and, and go uh, rest at the next campfire and, and then try to fight the elite, hopefully. Well, I say hopefully, but there's there's no more, like... Oh yeah, that's right, we uh, we heal up here. I forgot. Uh, maybe that was not such a good play then. Uh, I don't want any of this. I mean, Bloodletting is good right now. It is, it is a fine card that I would be happy to have any time I draw it. But, it makes the the future of the deck less certain like you're always happy to have it in any given hand but there might be something else you'd be even happier to have for example like just get to the rampages more often right or the shrug yeah i think it, uh, the other two are obviously no good um and i, I think i'll skip the bloodletting but I, I could be wrong on that 
Uh, I think I'll actually smith before this elite and then heal after it and try not to die. Pretty greedy, but that's me. You have to play, like, I don't know. I don't know the right balance of aggression and caution to play in Ascension X, where at the moment X is 9. Um, oh, nice. We get to Rampage this guy and then, like, just pass. So we get an upgraded Rampage in the deck and we can, like, do something cool next turn as well. Don't know what exactly, but something. Shrug armaments? No, another rampage. Good enough. So we kind of just like start the deck with two, our armaments or our rampage is both upgraded, right? Or buffed, perhaps is a better. So what if I just like bash rampage you now? Like I like the idea of playing armaments. But most of what I'm upgrading is actually no good. So yeah, I think we either bash Rampage, which would deal 8 plus... It would deal 32? Or we Rampage Whirlwind, which does, like, also 32, but doesn't make him vulnerable. So clearly bash is better. Anyway, I don't know the right balance of aggression. Because, like, you need to be somewhat aggressive in order to actually improve enough that you survive later. If you play super conservative from the beginning, like, you'll, you'll survive Act 1 most of the time. But you won't necessarily scale enough for the later acts. And I don't know the right balance. It seems to me like we're doing well enough that I should try fighting an elite, though. Uh... 24 plus 12 is 36, and the bash is 44. I think I might do better to just defend, defend, rampage, rather than trying to get in the bash. Blocking for 10 is pretty cool. Yeah, and now this rampage should finish him. Yeah. All right, we get some decks, I guess. That's fine. Flex, I mean, it works with a cup our, our multiple strength cards, but it's not enough, I think. So I, like, just another shrug might be best. We have decks now, so it's a little bit better. Um, something to help us stay alive while we play more Rampages is kind of how I'm thinking of it. And I think a rest here is... <sighs> Tough call, actually. I, I think it would, be, it would be hard to argue like that rest is bad, but Smith might be better. I don't know. It might also be worse. Because I think 44 is like often enough to survive this guy, who just, like, he attacks for 20 occasionally, and like then you have to deal damage to him. But Rampage scales pretty well, and he does not scale very well. I think it's playing with fire a little bit, but I'm going to take the smith. And, like, if you draw an upgraded smith on the turn he's actually attacking you, like, what can go wrong? Oh, I should have taken this power potion. <laughs> wow. That is an aggressive line to take. Corruption. And then just, like, your deck is nothing but rampages. <laughs> uh, I think that's probably good. The, um... The zero-cost shrugs will help us survive the first, like... His first upcoming power turn. And then... I'll just be rampaging him like nuts, hopefully? I'm, I'm not going to throw away the defends, even though I could. A zero-cost defend is worth keeping, right, typically. You, you exhaust the defends because they cost one, but when they're free, like, yeah, please, I'll keep it. Uh, wow, that's a hand. Everything's pretty much upgraded already. Um, how much damage do I have? This is 8. 
This is nine more is 17. And this would be another eight. That's 25. This guy needs 30 to pop him. So let's start with a shrug, which is free, by the way. Isn't that nice? We have another shrug if, if I want it. Which, like, I... Oh, what if I made him vulnerable? I should have done that. I should have not burned my shrug, I think. But I, I will spend the armaments here that upgrades this, and then I'll, I'll play the vulnerability potion. Uh, so this is now 8, 12 is 20, 28. So with a vulnerability potion, it's more than enough. Um, ordering? 8 and 12 is 20, yeah. Oh, wait, hang on. 12 and 16 is 28. That won't pop him, and then this will... Yeah, okay. I just want to make sure he, do I don't, he doesn't get any advantage out of all the blocky games from, from switching forms. So that our last attack is the one that triggers him. Is what I wanted to make sure of there. Rampage, and a uh, Whirlwind? Actually, I should have bashed, what an idiot. I don't know, maybe it was fine. This is... I think this... <laughs> I don't think this is gonna work out. I'm just like, this guy attacks more than I realized. I don't know. Um, on the other hand, you know... That's a lot of damage we're doing. But, like, I don't have any defense left. Uh, I'm about to get hit for 20. Bash Sword Boomerang? I guess. Alright, here's some gigantic rampages, though. Hang on, order. Um, so if I hit him with rampage, he takes 36. I guess we're, we're chewing through all of his block anyway, so I shouldn't worry about how much of it, like, when he gets it. Because I'm playing both rampages, and whichever one I play triggers his block, and then the second one eats it all up, so might as well. All right, I think we actually got there. Those rampages were enormous. And now this is uh, 24, right? Yep. I think we just take the offering? Brutality could work with rampage, I guess. because, like, you get to it more often. Offering gets you to it once for, uh, faster. But I guess if you want to play as many Rampages as you can, I guess I'll take the Brutality? Probably taking the Energy Relic here. You could argue for, like, transforming three cards and then upgrading them. I have some strikes and defends I don't want. But I'm pretty sure that that is not the best play and you should instead just take the Sozu. All right, let's do act two this episode, why not? Um, I'm <laughs> glad we're alive. Uh, okay, this... Yeah, you have to fight an elite, but if you if you let it be this guy, you only have to fight one. I guess you could take this guy too. 
It's a uh, fire, two, three fires? Three fires, one elite, three question marks in a shop? That's pretty good, actually. What about over here? You can fight, you can get like two question marks, an elite. It's a lot of question marks. And one fewer fire. And also no shop. Hmm. You could take this shop, though. And that's just as good. I think I'll do that to... Wait, this side has a bunch of question marks, too, right? Three, four... No, just four. Well, over here we're getting one, two, three, four, five, six question marks. Yeah, I think I should go over here. Wow, this isn't an eight, but we did draw it right at the beginning. Twelve block, perfect against this guy. Oh yeah, I forgot. We have um, Mummified Hand. That's another good reason to have chosen Brutality. Oh, I have spare energy. Jeez, I'm so amazing at this game. Shrug Bash. Rampage? Uh, yeah, that's better than playing Armaments. Rampage Whirlwind? Sure. <sighs> Havoc. I don't, like, I don't have a way to make sure Havoc only hits the cards I actually want to get rid of, and I don't have any synergy with it getting rid of random stuff, so I think I'm just skipping here. Thunderclap Plus is, like, maybe okay. Who's our boss? Automaton, I mean... You know, he does have little little minion dudes. But I just want to get to the rampages more and the shrugs. No, having a, a good source of vulnerable will really help with like the rampages. It'll multiply well with the rampages and it's like fine with the whirlwind as well. Well, I guess I'll choose a card. I should have some good options, right? Like, I don't think this is a Rage deck. Is it a Reaper deck? Probably not. True Grit? Maybe. Yeah, it is a True Grit deck. Yeah. For those long fights where you want to scale, you just want to get to the the rampages faster, and you get rid of your strikes. Okay, True Grit is the card that I will take. Uh, well, I think we're blocking this turn, so let's do that first, since it draws. Now, Thunderclap Whirlwind? I guess. Is that better than just a Whirlwind? Yes, it is. What? It felt like that should have done more damage than it did. No, I just, I saw the number 12, but they actually took 12 twice. Okay. I thought I somehow had less energy than I than I thought I should or something. Rampage for eight, strike for six more, doesn't kill any of them. So 
I think I just block. And I'm not gonna mess with this. I don't think I need any more card draw. So I might as well save the one HP. It's a great strike for nine exactly. And two big old rampages. I mean, they're 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 medium sized rampages, right? Any rampage you get to play a second time is an insane card, um, but they're not as insane as they could be. <laughs> Uh, what about like a headbutt? Headbutting rampage is bonkers, so yes. Okay, I guess I'll fight you. I'm not giving away 220 gold. It's gonna be a bit of a toughie, perhaps. Can I kill this guy? Probably not. Eight. Twelve is twenty. Twenty-nine? No, thirty-two, right? Uh, there's nothing I can do to make that any... Oh, I could armaments if I had the energy. Right? Which I can get, of course, by using an energy potion. Because then this would be 10 damage. This would be 12 more is 22. And this would be 12 more is 34. I think that, that is worth doing. Spend this last potion on gaining 12 HP and kill killing this dude. Yeah. Uh, alternative plans? I could take the armaments and then defend. Six and nine is 15, and then I could just attack, attack. But then, like, I'm only doing 17 damage. The guy still has 17 left. I, I have some problems next turn. So I think I'll just get rid of him while I can. Even though it's only giving me one energy, like, that's still worth it. Oh, I did 13. I guess that makes sense. I assumed it would be 12, but there's no good reason to have assumed that. I can headbutt a rampage, right? Yeah. So, Thunderclap. Rampage this guy. Headbutt him, bringing back one of the rampages. Wish I had a little more damage available. Alright, do we have lethal? No. Not even close. So let's shrug and see what happens. I mean, I can kill this guy with Strike Strike and then Rampage his friend. That does a little more damage to his friend. Or I could Rampage him, and then I get to play my Defend. I think that's better. Oh, also the damage against this guy doesn't even matter, because he's blocking. Discard pile is empty. How much damage can I do to him? I don't know. Well, I should check, right? Six times four is 24, so that's not close. So we'll block. Very funny rampage, or brutality. Um, all of these deal exactly six. So I might as well be whirlwinding and like headbutt whatever it is I want to have next turn. Do I want to shrug next turn? Or do I just want another attack? I guess I want to shrug because like a rampage is basically lethal anyway, more or less. Yeah. Um, so I'll just headbutt the shrug. And whirlwind. Okay, he has 28, but close enough. Tough fight, but we got a relic out of it. 
I really don't see any justification for any of these cards. None of them are good with what I'm doing. Searing Blow plus one? I mean... No, I already have my scaling. Um, all bad cards, or at least not good in this deck. I don't know, I didn't look at these. I, I usually don't even like pay much attention to the colorless cards, but sometimes they're pretty cool. These obviously are not, though. Uh, Red Skull. Well, we do spend some time damaged. When you add a power, upgrade it. That's kind of cool, because we have the mummified hand. Um, start with Artifact. Not not too keen on that. Um, honestly, what sticks out to me most is Fire Breathing, like with Mummified Hand, and we tend to play some attacks, right? It's not great, but it's something. And it, it's kind of like costs minus one once you upgrade it, which is cool. Yeah, I think I'll take it and get rid of, uh... a strike? This is gonna be a tough fight. Nothing we can do about that now, though. Well, might as well shrug first. We might get something that changes our mind about playing the Brutality, unlikely as that is. Oh, wow. That's a weird card. I am so lucky this kills them both. Because, other like, it's problematic because I can just not attack them and be fine, right? I'm already blocking enough. But Whirlwind is pretty cool because it does damage to them. And I was worried, like, if it doesn't actually kill them, they have this, like, enrage thing that um, when you hit them, they gain strength. And so hitting them each three times could be a problem. But as it happens, it will kill them. And so that's great. We need the armaments here. All right, I wish you'd hit anything but that. Thunderclap Strike Rampage is like the only play. Ah, oh, discard pile's empty. I was hoping we could get another rampage, but we just drew this one, and it, like it's the crappy one. But what can you do? Um, pretty sure I should still top deck it. It's a good card right now. No, I should just strike. I don't exhausting a card is dumb when I could attack him. Especially like this might actually be lethal. <laughs> 32 for both of them. Half of which is 16, so that's 48. Plus the 7 from Thunderclap? Yeah, we got it. Confirming, yes, 48 is more than 46. Be dead. Alright, not bad. We lost like 12 health or something. Pretty good, in fact. Paper Frog with a PH. Enemies with Vulnerable take even more damage. Cool. We, we make enemies vulnerable sometimes. Ah. I don't know. Do I want another True Grit? Probably. Maybe not. I don't have that many cards to get rid of, really. I've already got a fair number of things that need an upgrade, and True Grit, the one I already have, is one of them, so... I think I probably should just pass on this. The, the This is also, like, sort of tempting. You could be like, oh, I'll True Grit it, but, like, we don't need the energy that badly, and it's, like, not that great a combo, even if you do. Like, even if you could line it up, which is going to be hard for us. 
mean, we're going to the fire. It's just like, I don't know if we're supposed to be resting or, or uh, smithing right now. Probably we need to rest, but it's just that, like, having fire breathing or true grit upgraded is going to be such a big improvement. Or, like, even uh, brutality. It's going to be a big improvement to the amount of damage that we take in future combats that you could argue, like... Well, you would, you would like to get away with smithing here and resting at the next one, but if you die on the way there, like, the value is not great uh, on that, right? So, the, so really, the question is, like... If I smith, am I living to here? It's only two more combats. If I lose 35 health in two combats, like, I don't know. It's kind of bad anyway, right? Sure. I've convinced myself. Um, I don't know. We don't really need the energy that much yet, so that that's kind of a bad upgrade. But true grit is good. We like to play it pretty much every time we have it, and this will make it better in two ways. Obviously not that. Not fighting that elite. Ugh. Not a fight I'm thrilled to see. I mean, if I get a good whirlwind off, of course it'll be nice. I guess I do have fire breathing at that, so that's a little bit of help. But meanwhile, these guys scare the crap out of me. Give me back the rampage, please. Uh, and I should armaments. Ah, shoot! I should have armaments first, and that would have done extra damage. Knowing that I'm planning to top deck the Rampage, I, I saved it because I was like, I might want to armaments what I draw off of Shrug. But since I chose to make what I draw be Rampage, and that's upgraded already, it was free for me to get, like, um, no, get out of here. How much extra damage? Yeah, I missed three damage there. Plus, now my headbutt isn't upgraded if that come if that becomes relevant later. I'm like, okay, that three damage actually, yeah, that three damage would have killed this guy. Right? So huge mistake. Cost me six health. Possibly more. No. Just six. Because this guy's dying whether I play Whirlwind or not. So first question, like, how much damage does Whirlwind do? I have four energies. This deals 32 to all enemies. Um, not gonna kill him, so I would be taking a lot of damage if I did that. Seems irresponsible. Probably a shrug is better. And then, like, the funny thing is, if you Rampage, you upgrade the Rampage, but you, like, actually deal less damage this turn. So I think it's just, like, Whirlwind? Maybe you even block again. Yeah. Pretty crappy Whirlwind, but... Ah, ha, 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 ha. So much damage. I really need to kill them. This is 24 to each of them? Ah, but if I Thunderclap first, then it's still 24 to each of them. And I've added an extra seven, right? Plus the fire breathing? Yes. Oh, we have Paper Frog, so it was even more extra. Yes. I don't think I want another Whirlwind. I have plenty. 
and one of them's upgraded already. Uh, Shockwave is a good card. Like, isn't it? And the vulnerable matters even more, so there's definitely an argument for it. But I feel like we don't often have two energy to spare on something like that. Maybe I do. Weakening enemies is pretty great. If you can do that instead of like a couple defends or something, that's probably fine. Okay, well, we can take question mark rooms a little more care uh, with less stress now. Oh yeah, get this whatever card. I don't know what it is. I want it gone. Probably a strike. Uh, looking like Thunderclap, Rampage, Defend, Whirlwind for one. Yeah. And now I'm frail. Not my favorite position to be in. Nice shot. I think I should draw here. This combat's gonna go on long enough that I want the extra cards. we have now I should headbutt a rampage and then just play a bunch of attacks don't bother drawing it now yeah so let's start with this one since it's the random one okay and then unsurprisingly I just attacked this guy a bunch but I might have changed my mind if I had done something really weird conceivably like, I don't think there's any any outcome of the Sword Boomerang that would have made me change my mind, but it's just a good habit to be in when there's some actions that are random and there's no reason not to play them first. You should play them first, and, like, that way you have the most information available when deciding what other plays to make. Or, or when they're random or will give you information in some way. For example, by drawing a card. It's also sort of random, right? Uh, can I kill this guy? It sort of seems like I ought to be able to. This is 20... F no, it's more than 24. I gotta get out of this habit, because we have this, uh... Paper Frog. Um, I can make this 16... Deals 12 more is 28. And I can make him vulnerable. That's 7 more is... 35 and a bash is plenty kind of sucks having to spend all the attacks on this guy when he's it's gonna overkill him by like a million but I don't think I want to risk playing a sword boomerang that might completely whiff right yeah like it probably would in fact I had forgotten about fire breathing, though. Maybe I could have gotten away with a sword boomerang. But, like, why? Bash just killed him, so... And there was nothing, no other attacks to play. Why take the risk? There is no reason. Uh, probably ought to top deck a rampage, and it doesn't matter which one. Armaments... Rampage, Shrug, and then Headbutt, because I can't actually play the second Rampage this turn, unless it's lethal, I guess. And it's not, it's only 40. Uh, wait, isn't it 52? How much damage is an upgraded Headbutt? 
Ah. Where is my... Here it is. 12. So if I upgrade the headbutt, right, that's one energy. Then I rampage. Ah. I don't have the energy to do all of these things. I could headbutt, rampage, shrug, rampage. But that's not lethal. Oh, maybe it is with, um... Fire breathing? Okay, so that's nine. And 16 is 25. And 24... is 49, right? And we play three attacks? Double check. Nine and 16. 25. Then I attack with this again, and it's 24 more, is 49. Then fire breathing goes off, and I've attacked three times. You're dead. Nice. I mean, we probably would have been fine just blocking, but, you know, recognizing that you have lethal and then taking it is, like, even better. It's a good habit to get into, even when you think you can get away with something else. Uh, I don't think I want any of these cards. Now, we actually have more health than last time when we were at a campfire, right? And the upcoming fights are guaranteed not to be combats, so why would you rest? Let's smith. Smith what, you might ask. Good question. Answer unclear. Another shrug? The shockwave? Headbutt? Brutality? Maybe brutality. Drawing cards is pretty OP. Remove all strikes, my one strike plus. No thanks. Upgrade all strikes and defends. Also, terrible. My three defends. No thanks. Let's just get rid of a defend. Here, I think it really is prudent to rest. This guy can hit quite hard, and I don't really have a guarantee that I'll kill him before that happens. I might have said defend. I meant rest. What we should do with that campfire was rest. I don't know if I got it right. Uh... We just Brutality, Rampage, Whirlwind. Oh, and the Defend is free. Great. I'd like to play Shockwave, but it doesn't even affect this guy, so it kind of seems silly. What if I instead just Headbutt a Rampage and then Shrug Defend? Seems good. Who do I headbutt? This guy, I guess. Why do I have minus dex? I don't. That's why. I have lose one HP. I saw a minus one. I was confused. What I don't understand is why my defend only gave me five. Did I misread? It should give me six, shouldn't it? Because I have one dex. I assume it did give me six and I just misread it somehow. No other explanation really makes any sense. Whereas me misreading something is like top-notch, guaranteed to happen kind of stuff. Um, I think we Thunderclap, True Grit the Bash, and then Whirlwind. One down. Yeah. That uh, frog on the vulnerable is pretty cool. Or on the um, whirlwind. Uh, I can headbutt another rampage, can't I? No. Wow, these two cards are both rampage? Wait, where's my last rampage? Oh, he has it. Very funny. Right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Can I kill him? I have 18 damage. If I win a 50-50, I can kill him. I don't know if I want to do that. 
might be better to just block. This guy has one artifact. The weak will apply first, getting cancelled, and then the vulnerable, which is not exactly what I want. I wish it would go the other way. Is there anything I want to top deck with my one... Is this like his Mega Beam turn coming up next? Hyper Beam, whatever? I think it is. So I could top Shrug, maybe. Or top my Fire Breathing. Yeah, that's a good one. It kind of sucks, but like it, it's free, so... Hmm. Actually, maybe that's just bad. <laughs> fire Breathing is not what's going to win this fight. Living through Hyper Beams is. I think I'll just defend, defend, headbutt. I don't know. I mean, I guess I'll play this. No, because if it hits him, it's wasted. I'll just headbutt strike to kill, like, almost kill this guy and defend, defend. Yeah, and give me back my big shrug, please. Or maybe a true grit? I already forgot what's... Oh, nice. Now that I know there's hotkeys for this, I can I can look at this. Uh, I don't really want to true grid anything that badly. Um, I don't know. Do I? Um, I have a fair number of cards that aren't any good, I guess. But I, th I think Shrug is just better for now. Okay, he's charging up, and then he hyperbeams. I couldn't remember how that went. Uh, so we rampage him. Headbutt his crony to get another rampage back. Use that. And exhaust for defend. This is a tremendous amount of damage. And I have no choice but to shrug. Which still doesn't live. Thank goodness I drew a defend. It's the only it was a one in three to like live this turn. Uh I think I need to vulnerable him and then rampage him. That hurts, man. Oh my god, brutality. I have to kill him so fast. I, I don't really see that happening. <laughs> okay, well, uh, let's see. What can we do here? We can headbutt a Rampage. How much are they worth? 24. A quarter of that is 6. So that's 42. When he's vulnerable? Clearly not going to kill him. So I kind of need to block everything this turn. How hard is that? 6. And 12 is 18, and this is 28, so I get to play an attack, and I guess I'll headbutt a Rampage, but I'll do that after upgrading it. I'm a great fool. I should have upgraded, then shrugged, then headbutt, so that I don't top deck a Rampage this that I can't play this turn. Okay, do I need to play the Shrug? I could True Grit my Thunderclap instead. Uh, then I would gain 19 more block and be at 25, which is enough. Yeah, I 
think the quality of my deck is not really relevant anymore. I just need to deal as much damage as I can and still live, so... Oh, well, I should exhaust the, the Shrug then, because I need, like... I'll be thrilled to draw the Thunderclap if I happen to next turn, because it'll mean my Rampages are... No, he, he's going to be vulnerable for the rest of the fight. If that's not true, then I'm dead, so... I should just get rid of this. Maybe I'll want the Shrug for some reason. Okay, so this is a great draw, isn't it? We like Rampage, Rampage, Sword Boomerang, Whirlwind. Another way too close boss battle. Holy smokes. I don't think I want any of this. I just don't have enough blocks for a Juggernaut to be relevant, I don't think. There's nothing I want to exhume, and bludgeon costs too much energy. Runic Pyramid. You get to play those rampages a lot that way. Oh, also we have, um... I guess that was a different run. Where we had something that made us stronger from curses. or Not stronger, but... Something that we wanted curses. I don't remember. That was a while ago. I guess. <sighs> I don't need to smith anymore, so this is sort of like a free energy, to be honest. Which, I'm... I have enough draw and stuff that I'm usually happy to have some free energy. Um, not discarding my hand is not that important, because, like... I only have a couple of actual dead cards, and I have plenty of draw with Brutality. So I think I'll take the fifth energy here. Yeah. Yeah, that seems okay. All right. Well, we're just over an hour, so that's the end of this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.